Yo, what is going on guys? It is your boy Dike the Gamer back again with another video. Now, Apex Legends Mobile has just dropped. The soft launch has just come out about an hour ago for both iOS and Android tablets system. Uh, currently, we are on iOS, uh, but I did confirm I did download it on my Red Magic 7 on Android. Got it all loaded up, so confirmed it is out for both systems. Now, obviously, I am in a hotel room. This is not my setup. I will be back in two days, so I apologize for any quality issues no first off if you guys are not inside of one of the 10 countries that the game is soft launched to don't worry i am not i live in the united states all you need to do is head down to the description and follow the tutorial uh, that i posted a week ago i'm just gonna hop into a match so that you guys can actually see what it looks like first off i never played the original beta but i want to say that they have made an absolute ton of improvements uh in terms of graphics just because this looks absolutely insane now i've actually lowered my graphics just because i always like to have the most fps so uh, i've turned on if we go to display settings i have my fps on extremely high and my basic display settings on just hd as a frame of reference but uh, we're dropping in and uh not even dropping in i am not the jump master and so prior to about a week ago i had really never played apex legends in general and so this is going to be a learning experience uh over the next month or two before the global game comes out but yeah i mean firstly for the fact that this is a soft launch beta like this it, this is just running spectacularly i've had no frame issues there is no fps counter there's no way to toggle that unfortunately but it's running super smooth i would have to guess at least 60 fps probably running around 90 fps on my ipad pro oh we finally get some footsteps can we get our first kill oh no i'm getting beam right now there's no way we're getting noties on the ipad i'm not even looking got our first knock that guy's cracked that's a COD Mobile noti. Sorry, COD Mobile. I'm never coming back. Well, not never coming back, but don't plan on coming back to your game. Now that Apex is out. Okay, this guy's getting beam tapped. Thank you very much. Oh, where's this guy? There we, there we go. Is that a squad wipe? Oh, we're the new kill leader, too. Thank you very much. That was pretty sweet. Oh, that guy just got... Ah, okay, that was actually my first, like, frame drop. But that's fine, because that guy just got absolutely crapped on can we get like a oh no he doesn't even i don't even know what he was, he was trying to do there's 18 bro how is there 18 squads left all right i completely forgot what character i'm using um we scan there's an enemy down over there actually i just want to use my ult because i completely forgot i could do that as well i will say the heads up display indicators are really good for uh, a mobile game standpoint like they're they're pretty visual but they're not overbearing um as in they're not like too annoying to deal with on my screen all right heads up display settings by the way are in if you go to control settings custom layout uh i have messed with this i recommend you guys if you are looking to uh to figure out heads up your display settings yourself just uh just go to uh your hud and, and honestly mess around this probably your best bet to just figure out what the heck's going on uh oh that's a wraith and they just use their ability oh my god <laughs> Yo, you just got crapped on. Yo, peek me, bro. Peek me. Woo bro, I'm telling you, bro, I'm telling you guys. It's already over. Bro, the aiming is just so smooth in this game, dude. Yeah, the settings menu, it's pretty standard. And as, as far as mobile games go, if you guys ever played COD Mobile, Fortnite Mobile, uh, they've got all of your head-to-display settings. They do a really great job, though, of having... They actually have a first-person FOV, which I really enjoy. Uh, so I guess I can just go ahead and save this to one. Uh, so you can actually increase your FOV slider, which is only the second mobile game I think I've ever seen to do. Uh, COD Mobile being the first one. So huge props. Apex Mobile, they're just doing a lot right from the start, which I really, really appreciate. That's another kill. That's seven. Is he full knocked? Bro, what is that? His shield? Holy crap, his shield's insane. What? Alright, dope. I'm getting cracked as well. This is not good. I'm gonna be very honest. I have no clue if... <laughs> Dude, I'm having a blast. Absolutely destroying everyone. This is insane. Holy crap. 
uh, but I don't know if there's bots in uh, in public matches. There is a ranked mode. This is not a ranked mode. I will be playing ranked mode soon. Uh, hopefully, I have a game up for you guys maybe tomorrow uh, if I can get that out. One thing I haven't been able to find is I don't think there's a sprint by default option, which I really don't like because I would I would really appreciate if there's a sprint by default uh, option somewhere. That's my only gripe. Literally in the entire game, everything else is chilling. Uh oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. Oh, my teammate clutches up. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Alright, we got that one. Alright, that kid's getting at- Yep, that kid got absolutely beamed. Bro, okay. These knockdown shields in Apex, though? Not a huge fan. I, I understand. I respect. I appreciate- I appreciate the game design. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I hate it. It's super annoying to have to deal with. It is what it is. Alright, that's 13 Elims. 13 Elims, first game on. There's still 17 people left, bro. I'm literally gonna drop a 20 bomb. First game. Whoa, yo, that guy just, just he literally appeared and wait, auto reconnecting? No! Auto reconnect failed. Try reconnecting. I I really hope this reconnects because I was on a 13 kill game. And uh that would be a sour way to go out, for sure. Once again, I don't know if that's my internet at this hotel. Alright, well, we got back up to a 12 kill win. There is five squads left, and I just couldn't end it off at that crappy notes of uh getting disconnected so let's see if we can't clutch up this here win all right sort of getting beamed from over here there's th these guys have got to be ai at least some of them not everyone not everyone but just just some people oh my god i'm about to be out of ammo i need to scoop this guy's ammo can i do this real quick he's got no ammo for me he's got no ammo for me there's three squads left we got this Easy peasy. Oh, dude, this is free. This is free. I should definitely pop a shield, though. We definitely have to pop a shield. Hold up. That is incredibly free. Oh, my gosh. That is incredibly free. Please. Dude, this is... I don't even know how many kills this is. I'm just milking this at this point. That's mine. Thank you. How many more people are there? Bro, all I have is a Mozambique. Can I even do damage? Oh, we're still doing damage, 105! <laughs> First win in Apex Legends Mobile. How many kills? That was absolutely disgusting. Oh my gosh. Dude, and that was a one, that was pretty much a 2v3. I don't even know how many kills I think I got. Hey, five kills! 36! 100 damage, yo. That's an absolute unit of a gameplay right there. I'll tell you what. Hey, well, that's that's fine. That's fine. We made up for our, our absolute L of disconnecting with 13 kills. We got 16 and the 17 minute game. That's, uh, that's pretty fast pace. I'll say the pacing of these games are uh, is pretty, pretty solid overall. But I do just want to go a bit of, over a bit of what's in the actual main screen. So there is a few different modes of what we could play in the soft launch beta. We are going to be getting a new map in uh, three weeks. Kings Canyon, we are stuck. We're not stuck, uh, but just World's Edge for the first three weeks. Uh, there's a multiplayer, uh, which is pretty cool um you have to unlock that level 5 level 10 tutorial free practice and then ranked is at level 8 of course top right there is a battle pass There's a battle pass in every game and one really cool thing is if you do happen to buy the battle pass or if you do happen to spend any money on this game all of your purchases and all of your items will transfer over to the new version or the global launch of apex legends mobile and on top of that you will be getting a full refund of whatever you spend and the points will get recredited back to your account for the global launch uh so i'm definitely going to be opening a ton of packs for for content for videos and stuff like that and definitely definitely going to be buying 
uh, the battle pass here very soon because it seems like there's gonna be a ton of exclusive rare skins in this seems like there is also some challenges that you can complete to level up faster if you really want to uh to try to run through and unlock rank mode because i know a lot of people are going to be grinding the leaderboards which right now i can't seem to find the leaderboards is and actually i was just going through this the currency reset event and it says launch rewards uh, it's there's a 60 day countdown timer and it does seem like a, a lot of it is pointing uh, to around two months until the global launch is going to happen. So this is not confirmed by any means, but a lot of what they're saying from the currency refund uh, in the actual announcement post and this in game looks like unofficially uh, early May is when we could be expecting a global launch of Apex Legends Mobile. But with all that being said, finally here after I don't even know how many months of waiting. So get out there, go play some Apex Legends Mobile, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.